Hello everybody, welcome to my Penny Go Boom. This is a Wednesday, I'm sorry, Thursday update on ticker VIIC, uh, Visions Industry Corp. Um, I'd like to first start off by saying um, this is going to be, in. this is my opinion, I'm just pointing out what I'm seeing here on the chart. Uh, so hopefully we can keep the hit, the hate level to a minimum here because, you know, when we put these videos out, um, you know, the stock's going green, everyone loves them and wants to see them, but, uh, you know, when the stock's going down, and we point out some of the uh, technicals here. Uh, people would sometimes rather if we just uh, sweep it under the rug and not take a look at it. But that just wouldn't be fair. So um, again, I have no agenda here. I'm just, you know, I want this to go up just as much as anyone else. But let's start to take a look here. So this is the one day chart here. Each one of these candles represents one day price action. Um, I zoomed in kind of close here so it's a little easier to look at. So today we did, in fact, close down um, 18%. So um, let me point out the only I don't even know, the only one near cl close to positive thing I can see um, and even then I don't think it's possibly positive at this point this green line right here this was at 0124 um, this was the my opinion the last major support um, you know before you know things over here the last major one of the last major supports uh, the stock needed to hold today um, and as you can see here with this uh, red candle, we did closed just below that support. Um, so, in yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to go ahead and change this. So that since we closed below that support is now, technically speaking, it has become a resistance at 0124. Um, all day long, I mean, literally, uh, there I didn't see a lot of buying at the at the ask. Um, There's a lot of lot of um, you know games being played, a lot being sold into the bid. Um, in particular. Um, the BMAC, um, the, the, by the way, these are no longer relevant at this time after close. Uh, BMAC, oh, there's some BMAC and ASCM, they're literally, it, in my opinion, are bleeding the stock uh, dry. Um, in my opinion, uh, I believe there is a you know, considerable amount of dilution uh, occurring uh, through BMAC and ASCM just because, you know, you can see, you know, they obviously you can't see the whole sa uh, sale size because we don't have that, I don't have that level of, you know, seen into what they're really holding but um, you know a lot of times on the ask you'll see uh, you know a 10k order and then literally hundreds of thousands of shares will be hit at the ask and you know BMAC or ASCM they're just not moving a lot of times this can indicate that dilution is happening um, from somewhere at the company or somewhere but in my opinion dilution is happening here um, looking at the chart the technical speak uh, hold your breath so I guess said over here, when the five-day simple moving average is above this purple line, the 10-day simple moving average, when it's above it, the stock's typically rising in a short to medium term trend upwards. But as you can see here, um, the five has fallen below uh, the 10. Um, and not only that, it is beginning to widen. Um, so that's you know starting to indicate that you know this is you know it's in a downtrend right now. Well, I mean, obviously it's been in a downtrend since here. A couple of days ago, everyone saw this you know bullish you know quote unquote engulfing candle, and everyone got excited. But what I'd like to you know remind everyone is when a candle does go green, uh, many times you do need to see confirmation on the next day to see if this is truly um, an up move. Um, so obviously that you know that didn't happen here. Another thing that bothers me a little bit is not only did the stock close here yesterday, um, that it opened lower than it even closed today. Also, when you look at the Bollinger Bands here, uh, this uh, red line and this blue line, a lot of times the stock likes to trade, you know, when, you, when you're riding the upper bully, it's usually going up. Um, but a lot of times the stock likes to trade in between the Bollinger Bands. Not only that, the stock actually closed outside of the lower Bollinger Band today. Um, so, you know, we have a lot of resistance levels here. Um, you know, BMAC and ASCM, in my opinion, just have really pulled the, the, pulled the plug out of the drain. And, uh, you know, it seems like a lot of people aren't, you know, willing to buy this right now. Will this go back up? I mean, sure. I, I, I hope so. Just like the next guy. I mean, who, you know, who doesn't want it to go up? But if, you know, if one of my close friends was asking me, you know, um, you know, you know, where would you buy? Where are you? Would you get in right now? Uh, personally, I would say, you know, I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't uh, for someone new coming in. And the reason is because <clears throat> I don't mind paying a little bit more. Um, for a stock a couple ticks higher when I know it's in a confirmed uptrend and right now it's in a confirmed down you know it's in a confirmed downtrend right now and this major support here was broken so you know even if I you know if I were to just you know if myself or a friend was about to you know jump in to buy new or more shares um, you know I wouldn't mind paying a little higher when I know that the stock you know some of the technicals are looking better 
Uh, again, please let's keep the hate mail to a minimum. Uh, you know, I you know I'm not pointing this out on purpose. I'm just showing you know what this what the chart is seeing here. On the MACD, um, we are still above the zero line, but you can see here um, that the stock is you know it is starting to curl down here. RSI um, is relatively uh, low. Um, you know, and also when you look here, uh, this over here, this is a five minute chart, you know, it for the day. Um, you know, it was just, it came, just came down, popped up, and just continued to go down here. Um, so, you know, it, you know, the stock, you know, when the stock, you know, first ran on these, uh, to the, you know, these higher levels, you know, it had done so without uh, news. But what if you were part of the stock back then, you'd also notice that um, there, there appeared to not be a lot of dilution um, happening. If at you know, if at all, again it's not for sure you know, um, but it just it's you know my opinion what I'm seeing. So the stock you know had the ability to move you know very quickly and it's still and the stock still can. Um, it just you know there seems to be dilutions like there's a drain unplug somewhere at the ask or whenever someone hits it, um, it you know the ask prices they're they're not moving up. So um, all in all you know. Um, not sure if uh, you know. I I know I've been doing dailies on this for everyone, and uh, you know I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, so I may not continue to do some videos on this until uh, the stock you know decides that it, you know it wants to go back up, and we can come back and update the chart then. But uh, you know, right now, you know, a lot of people have been asking, oh, you know, this can, can this get back to the O3 levels? Sure, but I, I want to remind everybody that even uh, for the stock to get back to um, a th you know a three cent level, you're looking at more than a hundred. 100% move. I mean, 150% plus move uh, to do that. And a lot of times with stocks, you know, don't forget. Just because you know, if, if you're if you're down, let's say 50% in your stock right now, you know, you know, you need a 100% rise just to get back to even. So can the stock do that? Uh, can it do this? Sure. But you know, I just would uh, advise you guys to um, think. Um, you know, if, you know, if you believe in the company, great. You know, um, you know, Vic does seem to have a lot of good things going on. They got you know a conference coming up and things like that. But remember, we did move up without no. We moved up with you know what seemed to be um, you know no news, and now we're also just moving back down. You know, this is just penny land. That's how things work. Um, so again, you know, hoping hoping this thing can start to reverse itself. Uh, but based on everything I you know I had, I pointed out for myself in my opinion, um, it just it's gonna you know it's gonna it's gonna really take some work from the bulls um, to do that. Today's volume was 20 million, relatively low. If we look at the volume in general over the past couple of days, um, you can see that um, you know just from this area you know it's actually the volume is getting lower and lower. So um, you know again hoping for better days but you know nothing for me uh, personally is pointing out that this is a you know area to just you know jump in heavy but then again you know uh, this you know on the flip side of that you know if you like to gamble this could be the area that this does bounce off of but we we need to break back over this uh, resistance first um, at 0124 or 125 we need to you know break back over this now resistance and you know reestablish this level and then continue to move forward so again, uh, you know, sorry guys. Uh, hopefully this thing, uh, you know, gets better. Uh, you know, I, I feel bad for those who, you know, who uh, who are down. You know, um, I hate to see people losing money. So uh, let's hope we can get this thing moving back up. This has been an update on VIIC. Um, you can follow me on my Penny Go Boom, iHub, and YouTube. Again, you know, I'm just trying to keep it fair, and I'm just pointing out um, what the technicals are showing. So thanks a lot, you guys, and uh, hoping for better days.